This is RTV6 News at 5. Working for you. And good evening here at 5 o'clock. I'm Mark Mullins. New information to share with you tonight about a man who investigators say could be responsible for up to 20 arsons. Detectives believe the man deliberately set the fires on Indianapolis's southwest side. RTV6's Megan Sanctorum shares one victim's terrifying story and explains how surveillance video may have helped crack the case. Investigators call it one of the scariest cases they've ever seen. A neighborhood targeted, vacant, and occupied homes hit. Now, 27-year-old Dear Gray is facing 17 counts of arson. Investigators say they believe his streak started back in September. Surveillance cameras captured him pouring something on the street and then lighting it on fire. Over the next few weeks, officials say he moved on to houses. The damage amounts were getting higher. The damage to the structures was getting more significant. And there was what was undoubtedly an imminent threat to the public safety. It's just completely terrifying to even think about. Caitlin Starcher says her brother's home was set on fire twice. He's okay, but the second fire did a lot of damage and made the house unlivable. This is what's left of Terry Holdings house. The floors have fallen through, the walls are destroyed, and the smell of smoke still lingers. I haven't been able to sleep hardly at all since the first time. And it just continued to get worse. And then when he came back on the 16th and poured gas literally all the way around the house, and we've watched the footage, all I could think of is my brother. So far, Gray has been connected to seven arsons, including the two here. But officials say they're still sorting through evidence, and they think the total number of fires he started between September and now is closer to 20. Right now, there is no word on a possible motive, and investigators say they do not believe there's any link between Gray and the victims. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, RTV6. And Gray is due back in court on Friday for a bail hearing.